Well, I came from a very musical and artistic family. And my mother taught me art from when I was quite little. And my father was a busy professional musician, as well as my uncle. They played in the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, played viola. And so I grew up surrounded by music, but I really wanted to do art. <laughs> and uh, so <coughs> um, I, every Saturday morning I sat down and did art lessons with my mother, <laughs> together with my good friend Janet. And so I, I still did music, you know, I did piano exams, theory exams, and I learnt violin from my uncle, and it, I did all that. And so I, I love practising the piano, I really love, love doing that. And so when it came time to leave school, I went off to the East Sydney Technical College and they said, oh, you're really too old to start art now. <laughs> you should have started two years ago. You'll be two years older than everyone else. <laughs> so bang went my art career and instead I went to Sydney University and Donald Peer was fairly new to the university then and uh, he sort of guided my life. I, I ended up doing music as one of my subjects. I ended up becoming the first Bachelor of Music to graduate from the university. It was a new degree. And then I wrote a book about Australian music history, European music. And then after that, I got a scholarship to London to study composition. And that was the start of my composing career. And I was quite successful in London. I had a symphony performed over there and um, I had some chamber music performed by some of the top ensembles over there and at the same time I got married and I had two children. <laughs> so eventually we came back to Australia and uh, settled into life back in Australia after quite a few years in London and uh, then I hadn't been a composer in Australia but it was uh, due to a wonderful flute player called Peter Richardson uh, that, um, who asked if he could play one of my pieces, and which he did. And then I met somebody else who wanted me to write music and that set the ball rolling and I never stopped after that. Um, I've been writing music ever since the 1970s really. <laughs> and my friend Kerry Anderson is shortly bringing out a a book about my life and it's going to be called Fandango. I know a lot of composers sit at the piano to compose and um, in fact when I was still at university I used to sit in bed and write music <laughs> and then um, <coughs> these days um, I really enjoy trying things out on the piano and especially if it's written for piano, I like it. But, but if I have to write for example cello or anything like that, I get together with the person that plays the instrument because it's got to feel good when you play it. And like writing for harp is a real challenge. <laughs> it's quite a complicated instrument to write for. And so, um, Way back in the 1990s, along came Sibelius, the music program, which most people use these days to write their music. And, and that's what I compose on now. And it's a very, very handy tool <laughs> to have. Perhaps a little bit about your, um, your pieces that the orchestra has played and about the orchestra has played some of your uh, compositions. Oh, yes, yes. yes. <coughs> well, I'm looking forward to the concert at the end of the year uh, when the orchestra will play my um, fantasy for Harpen Orchestra together with the wonderful Vernal Lee on harp. And um, then uh, a while ago, I specially arranged my piece Fandango um, for full orchestra, <laughs> it was quite a challenge. 
I must say, I have arranged Tran Van Gogh for almost everything you can possibly think of. Yes, that's true. <laughs> um, I've arranged it from anything to solo mandolin up to full orchestra and anything, anything in between. And um, so it was wonderful to hear it bursting forth with trumpets and all that sort of thing. And, um, <laughs> and so, so that's one of the pieces. And uh, then not so long ago, our pianist John Martin, very well known Australian pianist, he played my second piano concerto with the orchestra too on the lovely pianos um, lent by John Juliana and uh, that was a magnificent instrument accompanied by a magnificent orchestra and played by a magnificent pianist <laughs> and uh, uh, John, John and I are very old friends and it was absolutely fantastic to hear him um, play the concerto with them.